getting some rain, actual rain, mixed with some hail, and then as you continue on back towards the west, that then starts to get mixed in with sleep. So you're not really worried about very large hail. If a few spots, one inch or greater pop up, not going to be completely shocked, but we're going to see a lot of hail, and then that's going to be mixed with sleet, and it's already starting to cause some slick spots on the roadway across parts of Reno County, across parts of Pratt County, across parts of Stafford County, and temperatures are cold enough where it's going to be pretty slow before it melts off. No temperatures are some freezing, but remember, the ground's very warm because of the warm temperatures we had today. That line of showers, thunderstorms extending all the way up towards Belleville, so we got the storm threat with hail, then that's going to change over to the sleet and freezing rain. As you get across western Kansas, this is actually blowing light snow, not much of accumulation. And across southwest Kansas, here's the week return of some patchy sleet as we go later on tonight. So we still have this area blue. That is a severe thunderstorm watch until 1 in the morning. No active warnings, but you know what? If one or two storms pops up a little quarter of the size hail, they may issue another warning between now and 1 o'clock. But overall, don't get a Oh, I, um... Sort of to feel about the storm watch just acting until 1 o'clock a.m., but we're going to be okay. And when I wander, it's to be a fun to storm watch. Oh man, now it's down to low battery. Great. Oh, I, so, uh, I bought a tension, Hancock is coming up, Sears Tower is coming up, and Hostel Cargo is coming up, so thanks for watching, please bye-bye.